You are listening to a podcast of the Geek.io Media Network. For all of our shows and more, visit geek-io.net. And to help support the network, head over to patreon.com slash geek.io. Hello, gentle listener. While Geek.io holds its talent to the highest standards, totally. what follows will likely involve the sort of language usually reserved for sailors on leave. If you're of a delicate disposition, then perhaps you would consider a different podcast. This is S4, and we're here to spoil you rotten on today's geekiest shows. This may include relevant episodes up to as well as including those in the description. If you want to avoid knowing too much, then please come back later. For those who remain, I welcome you to the Small Screen Spoiler Show. Spoilers. Hello! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages to the Small Screen Spoilers Show. This is episode number 71, and I am, for some reason, not in the notes. Uh, Feeling so fresh and so clean, and you didn't give me a nickname. That means I get to pick my own. Yeah. I'm <laughs> CJ. I'm going to punch you so hard you'll see Boat. That guy over there is Jared. I'm not looking for super friends. As a veto. Yes, indeed. And of course, the invisible third chair, as always, the once and forever king, Daryl. Nickname here, Shaler. He'll get upset if we don't give him it's a nickname. There. Are you not in the notes? I'm not in the notes. It closed. You closed the notes? It closed. Right. In audio con, it's not a tie. Shaler. All right, do that one more time. You robot it. An audio content from Daryl. I put on a tie. Shaler. There we go. Uh, yeah, so this episode is going to be... What is going on? <laughs> this episode is going to be a little bit different. two of us. It, it's, it struggles, but when there's like eight in here, it's, it's fine. I know! I Wait, like last night, I'm literally streaming... Overwatch and other games and no problems whatsoever. It's just the two of us and everything breaks down. I don't understand. So, oh my god! All, All right, robots here. All the robots. So, um, we're talking. I'm not even gonna try and play games with this. We're talking all of season one of the Defenders this week, um, and that is including. All of the reference material, as Daler, Daler, wow, Daryl informed <laughs> us at the beginning of the show. Uh, all of the uh, Marvel Netflix universe is at our command here, and we will talk about it. However, first, before we get too far into that, and Jazz and I start talking our heads off, Daryl has an incredibly long intro for us to listen to. So here's this. You waited for it, folks, and now it's here. We had two kick-ass seasons of Daredevil, an intense and engaging season of Jessica Jones, a thrilling season of Luke Cage, and also Iron Fist. And now it's time <laughs> to bring our heroes together for the Defenders of the Earth. Defenders. Um, season one? Ah, ah. I mean, this is the Avengers of television. I don't think they've done that before. So is it Defenders season one or Jessica Jones season 1.5? But also Daredevil season 2.5 or season three. I'm so confused. Anyway... Daredevil, introduce us to the hand and the secret weapon that's a young child, or possibly Electra Nacho Cheese, and also Madame Gao. And then Luke Cage and Jessica Jones kind of did their own things until Iron Fist reminded us that the hand were a threat again, and Madame Gao could be chillingly awesome. All to set up a threat that's big enough to need a group of heroes to assemble, but not so big that we need to call the Avengers. I think our first move should be calling the Avengers of the Earth Defenders. We spend some time establishing what our characters are up to and how they get caught up in the hand's plot. Daredevil is doing some lawyering, Iron Fist is getting the most of his private jet with Coling Wing, Jessica Jones is getting some detective work done, and Luke Cage gets out of prison because that ending of his standalone show was inconvenient to the plot, so it gets resolved in an incredibly unrewarding way. But it does mean that he gets to crush Night Nurse's pelvis with his super strength in the first episode. Eventually, our right. team of street-level heroes decide to team up against the bigger, badder threat, 
portrayed by the unconvincing CGI of Sigourney Weaver's face. Oh. Seriously, go back and watch it. Her face spends most of this show wallowing in the uncanny valley. The rest of the defenders of the earth defenders. delivers on everything you could realistically <laughs> ask for. The fights are good, the banter is quippy, Jessica Jones stands out as sarcastic girl Batman in the best way, and it's all good television. Sarcastic what it isn't, Batman. though, is an event, not what we hoped for. This wasn't really the Avengers after all, it was Captain America's Civil War. When we wanted epic, we got pretty good. Oh, and on a final note, if you have a sword, there are ways out of handcuffs that do not involve cutting off your own fucking hand. Wow. <laughs> But, but but it's more dramatic if you cut off your own hand. It is. Um, all right. Well, that was. And plus, you know, they were clearly setting up Stick to for his ultimate demise. Yeah, spoilers. spoilers. Um, so <laughs> you could tell Daryl wanted to do that one because there was editing involved. Uh, <laughs> I know Daryl did actual editing work. I'm impressed. Right. Oh, man. Uh, joking, Daryl. You do a lot of work for us behind the scenes, and I love you for it. Don't don't I even. Know. Just a tease. Just a tease. No offense. Yeah, we love you and you know it. All right, so we're going to try and go by this as uh, as much as possible episode, episode by episode. Uh, first episode, the H word. Uh, so That H word. That, that H word, though. Uh, got lots of H words that not a lot of people like to say. Uh, also, you put frieds in the notes. Fix that for you. Frieds? Super frieds. You're not looking for super frieds. Um, so, first things first, everybody is better at being themselves in this than they were in their individual shows, and that includes my love for Jessica Jones and Luke Cage. Uh, Daredevil is infinitely a better lawyer because he actually does fucking lawyer work in this. I know. How about that? It starts off with daredevil doing some actual lawyering and being good at it <laughs> like <laughs> what is going on here this is, is this this is it, it, he'll go back to sucking at it in his own series don't think this is going to be uh anything uh consistent oh, yeah. i mean when you come back from the dead you're you lose all your lawyering powers yeah um Spoiler. by the way we'll get we'll get we'll get there on uh what the uh, what the storyline they're going for on this one is, and it makes me actually really excited for Daredevil season three, because they're leading into my favorite Daredevil story. So yay, um, ooh, yeah, and uh, all right, um, Luke Cage, yep, got freed. That happened. He got to go. He got out of prison. Was he? They, did they say why he got let out, or did he just? Okay, you were here for. A month or so. Well, they they said that even when he was sentenced, they said basically, you know, you have to serve this time, and it's not going to be a it's not going to be a lot. And I'm sure he was also like the model prisoner. Yeah, and then you know, and he, and he reminded them at the end as he was leaving that he could have left any time he wanted to. Yeah. So I I, I think well, sorry, if I'm remembering correctly, head. like at the end of the at the end of his epi- uh, season, it was just like, hey, you know, you have to serve this time, and you know, and it wasn't that long because yeah, it was, you know, you escaped from prison. Yeah, that's even though you had weird experiments on you, <laughs> right? Um, and you got electrocuted. Yeah, uh, Dar- uh, Iron Fist being Iron Fist in his Iron Fisty ways. Uh uh oh. What do we do with Iron Fist, man? I don't know. There's gotta be a way to fix Iron Fist. Even right? even him being the best version of himself in this, it's still not good. Like not even Awful. like really <laughs> bad. And oh my god. Still obnoxious. Yes. Angst is not sexy. Like, Angst is so annoying. He is a freaking teenager, <laughs> and I hate it. Oh, my I, I God. Think. He's not been socially into for most of his life, so. But still. He, he doesn't know how things work, I guess. At, at this point, that's not an excuse backwards. anymore. I don't know. Need some training. Because he is a grown ass man, and Colleen has been with him nonstop. <laughs> exactly. 
She's great. Yeah, she's really good. Everybody around Iron Fist. Can we just, can we just have? Can we just have Colleen punch a dragon instead? Right. I'd be okay with that. Um. Also, we have a lady Iron Fist. Uh. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. Um. It just. It kind of feels like they're not trying with him. Like Iron Fist. Yes. You know, they were they were a little lazy on this. They were it's like, okay, we can't really fix him. He's just obnoxious. So instead of fixing his character, we'll just have all of the er- other characters point out his flaws. Yeah. And drag him on it the whole time, which was fun. Yeah. I, I enjoyed that, but it was a little lazy. You could have at least tried to make him not as awful. Ooh. Sorry, I'm doing uh, though, tasting. Though I, though I have no sense. Tasting weird things on small screen. Spoiler show. Um, imported from Japan, mango creamy soda. It's delicious. Ooh, it sounds delicious. Mm. You want to taste this? This the cream soda. So we're uh, we're talking. Uh, Rachel's upset because she feels that there was too much Iron Fist in this entire ser- series. Iron fruit pie. Uh, Iron fruit pie, as she's calling him, <laughs> and uh, not enough Luke Cage. She is uh, very. He was kind of the like. He was kind of the um, the mull the not mulligan. What's the word? Uh, MacGuffin. MacGuffin. Yeah, he is a he is a personal MacGuffin. Thing. We're kind of getting off. Like first episode, nothing really happened. We just kind of touched base with everybody, and that's what you needed because it's been a bit since we've heard anything, especially considering most of Jessica Jones has been retconned the hell out of the freaking Netflix series. So, <laughs> hey, what's up with that? I mean, it's still there. Yeah, they, they touch on that later, out. but like, <laughs> like the rest of the series, yeah, like well, no, mind though. nobody ever really mentioned Jessica, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, all that stuff did happen. It's like, that's yeah, it's kind of not what's been happening in the rest of the Netflix series. And it was weird to me that Jessica Jones was the levity character. I mean, it made sense, but it was like her show is like the darkest and most depressing, but she's the funny, the funny one in this. <laughs> it's because Kristen Ritter is a really me off. good, like good, funny actress. She's a really good actress. Um, yes, she she has good timing, and they gave her great lines to say. So. Yes, but I mean, it's more so like. I kind of vow- I kind of viewed her as at this point Dario with superpowers. <laughs> and it in for I, I realize that a bunch of our listeners are way too young to understand what that actually means. It she is just kind of apathetic towards the entire world, but it's comedic about it. Um and also, you kind of have deep down. She just doesn't want anyone to know. Yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Um. Uh. Also, like strangely enough, in this Foggy, the levity character of the rest of the series, especially Daredevil series, was not really levity based in this one, like at all. No, he was. He was very serious. Yeah, I guess working for uh, working for Trinity changed him. Being a. Uh, there's. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know. It was, it was real weird. Foggy, but he's still a good foggy. Yeah, it's still good foggy. Um, th- this kind of fell into the trap of having too many main personalities, and like all the ones that we loved, all the uh, extras that we loved from the rest of the series, never had the chance to shine because we had to get the defenders together and defeat the big bad. Um, exactly. So I mean, yeah, it's episode one is hey, remember. These guys are things. Look at all these guys. They've still got their stuff going on. Yeah. Daredevil still is... Somewhat dealing with the aftermath of their shows. Yeah. You know, Daredevil's still sad that Elektra died, and he gave up Daredeviling and became a decent lawyer and works for free somehow and able to survive in New York City. I still don't know how that one happened. Well, he gets his uh, his loft really cheap. <laughs> he did learn that. Yeah, that's true. I'm glad that they get. I'm glad that they inserted that explanation into the show. Yeah, how he's. But how does <laughs> how he support this place? How so how does he has a giant neon sign across the street? <laughs> it doesn't bother me because you know. <laughs> <laughs> that is right. I miss that. Oh, okay. Um, but that doesn't explain his electricity or anything like that. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess all he has is a fridge. Yeah, it's still. That's maybe a radio. Yeah. 
Um, I don't know. He's got to get some money somewhere, right? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Uh, Misty yeah. remains great. I don't know how this works. As always in the first episode, she's like, you know, it's great. Yes. That you, you For the love of goodness, just just bring Misty in on it. Okay. Right. Stop. Stop keeping everything from Misty. Yeah. Just talk to Misty. We got there eventually, but yeah, like. Yeah. Maybe now that maybe now that she has a robot arm. Yeah. Oh, well. Yes. We're getting a robot arm. We're getting a robot arm. <laughs> I'm sad that she had to lose an arm, but we're getting a robot arm. We're getting a robot arm. <laughs> All right, uh, episode two. Um, anything else on episode one? There was an earthquake. Yeah. Quote unquote earthquake. Yeah. That's all. Um, episode two. Hey, the ma- hey, my favorite trope of all time: the heroes meet up and then they fight. Yay! <sighs> Though I, I know it's a tropey trope, but man, I could watch Luke Cage beat on Iron Fist all day. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Like, I could watch that all day. Just, that was fantastic. It really was. In fact, like, I could watch anybody beat up on Iron Fist all day. And, like, Dale's going to l- listen to this, and he is just going to hate, like, hate us hating on him, but whatever. Um, yeah, that was great, just watching Luke just not even try. Like, watching him, like, why is this skinny white kid trying to punch me? <laughs> <laughs> trying to punch me? <laughs> Why is he doing kung fu? I I don't. I'm just gonna throw you over there. Stop being annoying. <laughs> it's like a kid. Like it's and like a, it's like a uncle trying to get a right. their like nephew to stop being a butthead just by like tossing them aside. Like I got better things to do than deal with your yeah, crap right I now. I wanted like one of those like you know clown moments where he like just holds his head and pushes him out while I'm right. Just, like, windmills his arms. <laughs> Uh, and then it didn't get quite that goofy, but no. I would have been okay with that. Yeah, um, but I mean, it was it was kind of fun seeing uh, Luke actually, you know, dealing with hey, this skinny white kid can actually punch me. Okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> and that happens. Like, wait, what? The <laughs> the, and props to Michael Coulter, by the way, the look of pain and also confusion as to what just happened. <laughs> That is props to him, like. He got iron fisted. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um. <laughs> so yeah, Jessica reporting things to the police now. I guess she learned her lesson from before about the architect yeah, well, dude. You, know, when you don't have somebody who can. Yeah, when you don't have somebody who can control people's minds, you, you can talk to the police. Yeah, true. Yeah, that 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 is gonna kind of mind controlled. That is gonna kind of give a big point to uh, what's gonna happen in Jessica two and Jessica Jones two. It's like, yeah, now that she doesn't have to deal with the Purple Man twenty four seven, like I, I'm digging her as like a person who you know can actually be a person and does not need to be afraid for her life all of the time. Um, yay, Sticks back. So I, hate, I hate to Sticks is back, and I hate to keep harping on the the, the easy joke, but where's Spider Man? Right. <laughs> yep. Freaking earthquake, and the whole city like split in half. Yeah. Where's Spider Man? Yeah. Like this is this is something that the Defenders definitely or the the Avengers definitely would have came in on, considering Stark Tower is still in the city at the time. I think so. Yeah. Uh, I mean, either that or yeah, still like no more. I won't. I won't ask. I won't ask where any Avengers are anymore. I mean, yeah, Spider Man would be the easy one, considering he's a street level hero. He's even there. at the end of no, even at at the end of Homecoming, like he lives there. Yeah. Like <laughs> this is his home that just got earthquaked. Yeah, where's Spider Man? I thought they were kind of gun. I, I I actually uh, there for a second until they kind of just passed that off as a MacGuffin as well. Thought they were gonna go for the uh, Deadlands storyline, which would have like if they don't bring Spider Man into the Deadlands storyline, I don't know what's going to happen here. Because I mean it's the same thing. The the basically this is the Deadlands storyline without the fact that the hand actually wins. Um, but that was Wilson Fisk and Elektra led 
hand group, not uh, a bunch of people who hate each other. And yes. We'll, we'll get, I, I, all right, we'll get back there again. Um, <clears throat> so, um, yeah, suicide on camera. Sweet. Good job. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was intense. Yeah. Um, got Trinity back. Daredevil flipping around on rooftops. Yeah. And somehow, uh, Jessica Jones is able to sneak up on him. And yeah, right. Sneak, sneak up on Daredevil, but another one of her superpowers: skills, super strength, super jumping, and super stealth. I don't know. Super, super sneaky. Yeah. Super sneak. Super sneaky. She got the super sneak. Uh, she really is just Batman with slight superpowers. <laughs> Um, uh, all right, episode three, because again, just kind of. Uh, let's see what else I said. Colleen talking sense check. Yep. Good old foggy grumpy Matt check. Yep. There's a card catalog? Question mark. <laughs> yes, <laughs> card catalog still exists in New York City apparently. And I kind of like Sigourney Weaver as the big bad. Yeah. Right. Um, so episode three, worst behavior, uh, we go get our flashback and we get, uh, the body of Electra being all sorts of resurrectificated. Dun, 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 with the substance. Yeah. What could the substance be? I don't want anyone to tell us what the substance is. Dragon Buzz, it's Dragon Buzz, it's free. Yeah, it, it's yeah, it's absolutely just dragon marrow. It's dra it's dragon oil essentially. Okay, but also but more on that. Later. How, how the f how the fuck is the dragon? Okay, never mind. Yes, it's it's uh, whatever. Yeah, she gets dipped in she gets dipped in a Lazarus pit and comes out as um, an infant basically. And cool, they have to deal with that. Awesome, sweet. Except whatever. Um, the story starts to unravel as we get further along. We'll get there though. <laughs> In Istanbul, it's Constantinople. Right. <laughs> um, Sorry, that's all I could think of that whole that whole scene. And um, we get. All right, you mean Istanbul? We get um, uh, the uh, the defenders hideouts in this one. Uh, no, sorry, it's the next episode. We get well, we get it towards the end of it. Um, I was about to say. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I know I got a note in here that I that I brought up in like every episode of Iron Fist. Which one? So, and I, huh? Which note? What What's my secret? My What's my note that was in every episode of Iron Fist? That yes. I'm going to bring back into the Defenders. Yes. You can't guess. I don't want to guess. You know what it is. Why are you always going back to the dojo? <laughs> oh, yes. Why are you always going back to the freaking dojo? <laughs> <laughs> so why do you think no one will find you there? You're right. A hideout. And, okay, also, all right, freaking skipping Col forward a couple Daniel episodes. Freaking Collie Wings runs the dojo... It's not a secret hideout. A, 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 a step forward a couple episodes. I like how Stick calls him out on a shit about that too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Stick calls him out on everything. Yes, and that's what Stick is there for, for the most part. We'll get to that later. But yeah, Stick is it's still just, uh, great. To, just call, to call Iron Fist a, quote, thundering dumbass. <laughs> Um, I do like the uh, grumble, um, the grumble off between Iron Fist and uh, Luke Cage in the dojo, though. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, their nice little chat. That was nice. Yeah. Get our early, our early uh, uh, Luke Cage Iron Fist team up. Yeah, because I mean, those two are the ones who are paired together the most out of any of these people. Like. Um, I mean, yeah. Which, even though Luke this Cage is a good time to bring this up. Oh, sorry. Luke Cage and Jessica Jones have sorry, a baby together, late. and but they're still even seen less together than the uh, epic bromance since the '70s of Iron Fist and Luke Cage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so I'm going to bring this up now. So every Iron Fist didn't do well, and people really didn't like it. No. And 
Luke Cage, a lot of people seem to not like as much, but I loved Luke Cage. I mm -hmm. thought that was an incredible, wonderful show. Absolutely. So do we fix this by, rather than having another season of Luke Cage and another season of Iron Fist, just having a season going forward of Heroes for Hire? That's exactly what I want. Um, because while both shows like, let's just keep them together all the time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's just exactly they work. The the two actors work really well together. They have a chemistry. Somehow these two people have a chemistry together. I don't understand how, but they I'm actually putting that all on Mike Coulter. Yeah. Oh yeah. One thousand <laughs> percent. I mean, admittedly, all right. When um when Iron Fruit Loop is on Game of Thrones as the Knight of Flowers, like, he's still not a great person. What the hell's his name? Uh, Freaking Finn Jones. Um, when he's on Game of Thrones, he's still, like, he's still this. But what he does is he works well off of other people. And my mic keeps falling. Um, <laughs> um, I need to tighten up my mic stand. Um, it, he works well off of other people. So that's the reason why Iron Fist itself was bad. <laughs> I mean, yeah. like it just you can't do the leading man thing. Exactly. You need to do it. No, and I tried. I tried rewatching it uh, recently, and it's no. <laughs> and it makes me sad because I am such a huge Iron Fist fan, and like, uh, no. <laughs> Just no, but yeah, I would I would love to see just <laughs> even if they don't do the heroes for hire thing because, um, yeah, I don't think they'll do that. Yeah, because that kind of circumvents but. Danny being super rich and can buy everything. Um, yeah. but yeah, let's have just those two be awesome yeah, this, together. This point going forward, they're just just have them together. Yeah, either have Iron Fist and Luke Cage, or yeah, or vice versa. Exactly. Whatever, whatever you're gonna do with it, uh, I would prefer Luke Cage be the leading man on that one. But that would allow, you know, also the Colleen Wing and Misty Knight, awesome sometimes lesbian combo, to go off and <laughs> be really cool. Wow. Uh, because they do um, CJ's fanfic. It's not a fanfic; it's a thing. <laughs> um. <laughs> They they have their own little private eye agency after Misty leaves the police uh, police force, and um, like I would love to see that spin out of that as well. Um, but yeah, just just leave those two together and let's not have them separate. Um, also, I like how they for the first three episodes bring up um, uh, Shades and Mariah, but like <laughs> that disappears so quickly. <laughs> Like, yeah, they're they're still doing stuff. I was, but I was really hoping, stuff. really hoping that one of those two would have taken over the finger of the hand. That would be fun. Yeah, but it, I'd love to see Shades get decap decapitated. Right? Um, <laughs> why? All right. Um. So yeah, we uh, we get the next MacGuffin, which is Midland Circle. Dun, dun, dun. And in true Iron Fist called, fashion, mysterious hole. Yeah, right. And in true Iron Fist fashion, we don't care what anybody says. We're just gonna go do the thing. <laughs> yep. Let's just bust in. Yep. Um, and into this meeting, and you're just gonna stop doing what you're doing. It's like really. Good, you're here. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for saving us the trouble of trying to find you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, and thankfully, everyone else got here at the same time. Yeah, funny how that works. Luke, that was never explained. <laughs> I like how they just never touch on Luke. Also, Daredevil and Jessica Jones together is so awesome. <laughs> it really is. Watching him do all of his like you ninja flips up the stairs, running yeah. up the stairs, and she's just like, elevator. <laughs> <laughs> you look ridiculous. It's your scarf. <laughs> they have a. They bring a nice. They bring a nice balance to each other. Yes. 
I, I, I love the, those two actors just bouncing off of each other. And that, that those kind of quips seemed like they were ad-libbed. It doesn't seem like those were, like, in the script originally. Like, <laughs> um, yeah, I could believe that. And we, get a, and we get our hallway fight. Yay, hallway fight. Because we must always have one hallway, hallway fight. Hallway fight. Always one. Now we have the most epic of hallway fights. Yes, all of the hall, all Everyone of the hallways out. needed to be fought in, and because we have everybody with superpowers, yay! And I, and I love, love, love how they like gave everyone fighting styles. Yes, it's so great. Yeah, you're not just you having got Iron Fist doing his Iron Fist thing. You got Daredevil doing Super Ninja Flippy Man. Yep. You got Jessica Jones, who isn't a fighter, and she, so she just kind of stands to the side and then randomly punches. Yeah, <laughs> when, whenever she can. And Luke, and then, uh, Luke, Luke doing Cage his just tanking around everywhere. Yeah, his <laughs> street fighting kind of just walking up and shoving things. Yeah, he, well, he's obviously a street fighter, yeah. and I do like how they even separate Daredevil and his ninjutsu that he's ninjutsu that he's doing, and the actual kung fu of. <clears throat> kung fu that's air quotes for the audio listeners um that uh iron fizzle is doing um it just uh, yeah absolutely and that is that is fantastic they're not just having and even jessica calls it out like i everything's a big kung fu movie now and i'm very confused at all of this um it was good. It I was. I liked that touch. It was a nice touch, giving them all their own kind of fighting styles. Um, and then Daredevil, and, and of course, we have they the Daredevil. All their colors, too. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and, of course, we have the Daredevil and uh, Elektra face-off. Um, and, you know, it's kind of what it is. Um, it's pretty much what you expect. Yeah. Yeah. I am surprised. I am glad though that even though um, it was Electra there, like Daredevil didn't pull back too much on her. Like he realized that she was still trying to kill him and actively fought against her. Yeah. And they did not immediately say, "Okay, here's a lady, Jessica, go." <laughs> nope. He just iron fist her right in the face. Yep. <laughs> Break her swords. Because she's not supposed to have swords. She's supposed to have size. Yes. Come on. I do like how when they get, every time they give her swords, something bad happens to her swords in this. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. And like every time she goes to pick a weapon, she just eyes the size for a few minutes and then picks something else until later. Yes. All right. Uh, Anything else on episode three? Uh, I got one note. Handy work, stick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. God, I'm hilarious. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, admittedly, he could have dealt de- dealt with that much better than to lose a hand, but whatever. I get I get the symbolism, and I know, and I, I get it, but still. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a bit much. Yeah. Not necessary. Um... All right, episode four, Royal Dragon, uh, it, or the one that Danny buys a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, Royal Dragon uh, Chinese food place in New York. I'm sure your food apparently is really good because you know. But <laughs> hey, all the all the defenders they there. Yeah, they seem to enjoy it. Is that pork? No, that's shrimp. That guy has the pork. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, nice. I had to order one of everything. Four of everything. And also buy the restaurant. Four of everything. And also buy the restaurant. Yes. Well, he didn't buy the restaurant. He, like... Oh, no, he paid his rent for six, six months. months or something. Yeah. And then promptly got it blown up. But whatever. <laughs> and then destroyed it. Yeah. Because well, he's a thundering dumbass and brought his cell phone in there. Yep. W- Freaking well done. All right, so... Fuck! Why is Makoto back?! <laughs> Because uh, he's one of the fingers, apparently. Yeah, he's this finger! <laughs> no! No! Why? One of the fingers of the hand? Though I don't understand why Gal was kind of like afraid of him in Iron Fist. Right? Or at least mad at him. Oh, it's because they all freaking hate each other. Know, apparently these people... 
Even though they're part of the hand, they all despise each other. They all absolutely hate each yeah, other. And that's another it. that's another villain. That's another trope. Yay. Uh, just the villains just constantly trying to kill each other and failing, and yet they're still working together. Sure. All right, so we have Sigourney Weaver, the big bad. We've yep. got Bakudo's back. Yay. Yay. Madam Gal. Yay. Yay. Um, a random guy in the white coat who's recruiting. Sawande. Luke, na- Luke Cage's neighbor. Sawande, that's his name. And then a uh, random Japanese guy who we're going to introduce him by with him gutting a bear for some reason. He he was in Daredevil season <laughs> two. Uh, he was the one who was the uh, pointing the uh, the hand at um, get it pointing the hand um, <clears throat> at Daredevil Electra and the Punisher at the end of season two. Um, Man, I do not remember that at all. Yeah, and I believe you. It, it took me a second because I'm like that guy looks really familiar in the name Murakame. Like, sounds really familiar. Oh, right, that dude. Um, uh, so Wande is a Luke Fist, Luke Fist, Luke Cage villain. Um, <laughs> he eventually, through a bunch of weird freaking things, becomes a uh, man ape much later on in his um, career. Um, and then there's Madame Gao. Madame Gao, she's so creepy. And Alexandra, who has had many names through the centuries. Um, many, many names. In, she is ancient. In mine, Alexandra. Um, so, <laughs> also we got more st- saying Kun Lun wrong. It's still Kun Lun, not Kun Lun. Kun Lun, Kun Lun. Kun Lun. I hate Kunlun. the fact they keep calling it Kun Lun hate that so much i don't care if that's actually how it's pronounced i have i've been saying kun lun since 1992 when i started freaking reading iron fist like kun lun. um yeah, i don't have a ton of notes on this episode it's mostly just we have dinner when we talk to each other get to know each other everyone that's it Stick explains everything except what the substance is stick and, explains it all uh, calls danny an idiot <laughs> which yeah. explains it all. Um, yeah, it's it is it's the exposition episode. It's like, hey, this is what we're actually going up against, and so you should actually know what's going on uh, instead of hiding it from all of the heroes. I still enjoyed it because well, this was needed and it was good because the characters played off of each other. It was really well done. Um, because without this, especially Iron Fist. He would have dragged like Luke Cage into whatever he was doing and without ever telling anybody anything because it's what he does because he's a horrible human being. <laughs> Just trust me. No. No. We gotta go in there and fight. We gotta bring the fight to them. No. Oh no, <laughs> shut don't. up. You're so bad at this. You were the worst iron fist ever. Uh the dumbest iron fist ever. Um yeah, this was this was fun. This was a fun episode, getting them all together uh, and everybody making fun of Iron Fist. That was that was good. Yep. Good, nice little. Let's have everyone sit down, have a chat, set everything up, yeah. explain everything. It, the literal halfway point. That's so, thing. you know, it was it was a nice point. It was a nice thing to get this all taken care of at the midway point instead of waiting until the second act, third act bridge. Um, so episode five, take shelter. Um, hey, Danny, you're an idiot. Start with some violence and classical music. Uh, Danny's an idiot and they prove it by wrecking the restaurant. Poor, poor, poor Royal Dragon. (laughs) Poor Royal Dragon. And then considering all these people apparently came from Kunlun, Kunlun, yeah, all uh, all five uh, of the hand fingers uh, are uh, from Kunlin, are Kunlinians. Kunlin is quite diverse, so good for them. Yeah, basically, whoever has, um, whoever is so deemed worthy, oh, sorry, that's Thor, um, whoever can find the door to Kunlun can, fuck, Kunlun, can get into it. <laughs> um, so it's not like, 
only people that are born there or anything like that. It's ba- it's whoever has and it, there is kind of a you have to have a in the in the proper Iron Fist you have to have a sp- certain spiritual attunement or a certain natural key affiliation to be able to even get into the door of uh, Kunlun. So, I see. So, uh, so Wande holds his own against Luke Cage for a little while. Yeah. Um, including hitting him with a truck. Turns that around. <laughs> <laughs> Which was kind of fun to watch. And they're like, they got Luke. And then Luke shows it up with Sawande all tied up. <laughs> oh, well, I wanted to see that. You're right. I, I wanted to see that fight. <laughs> um, How did Luke, did Luke turn that around? So one day admitting that he is truck. the worst member of the of the hand. I've been captured before. Why would you admit that? <laughs> Why would you admit oh. openly I failed before? I've just gotten up from it. Well, we just barely survived our scrape at the hand and they followed me based on my cell phone tracking it. <laughs> Clearly we must run to the dojo. This is the safest place to, <laughs> to the dojo. <laughs> Jesus Christ. To the dojo. <laughs> Everyone to the freaking dojo. Yes. Because dojo. now, not only is I... Because we saw Bakudo. Bakudo knows the dojo. Bakudo gave her the dojo. Why <laughs> would you go back there? When you saw Bakudo, why would you ever go back? Go to Daredevil's apartment. Go to Jessica's apartment. Literally go anywhere else but the fucking dojo. <laughs> The loft would have been good, yeah. The <sighs> loft, since they didn't know who Daredevil was. Exactly! The Enjoy one person who has a secret identity. identity! Go to his place! <laughs> the law offices of, of Murdoch and Murdoch. Oh um, <laughs> It just, Murdoch that drove me too. crazy when they went back to the dojo. I'm like, there's no! No, you have other, you have other sets you can use! Don't do this. <laughs> Don't go to dojo. Oh my god! Clearly, this is Danny's idea. Yes, because and, and as proven so far, he has the best ideas. Absolutely. <sighs> and also, uh, Jessica Jones punch, punching Madame Gal. Yes, that was good. She has uh, no no problems punching an old lady. Nope. <laughs> Jessica gives zero Fs. Especially one with superpowers. Yep. Uh, yeah, we did see the... Yeah, she basically did her Kamehameha thing on this episode. And, uh, yep. Yeah. Jessica's like, at that point, I'm oh, done. Yeah. I'm oh, done that. playing with this crap. <laughs> <laughs> you are You are no ordinary... I'm or, the people. I am no... Or, you are no ordinary old lady. You just shot a freaking key blast at me or whatever that was. And now we're done here. Um, though, so one day, done. One and done. In and out. <laughs> Sticks here, but yep. And stick, it's good to see you again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, uh, stick, you're so funny. Yes, I love you and I miss you. Yeah, gotta be, you will be missed. Gotta stick. be dick. Um. So, <clears throat> anything else on take shelter? <laughs> this is my two minute tangent on the fucking dojo. <laughs> you can't, you can't save Electra, whatever she is. Her heart is black, but not the daredevil, because only love can thaw a, fr- a black heart. <laughs> <laughs> well done, sir. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He'll be here all night, folks. <laughs> Da-doom. I've got all the dad jokes. Yes. Um, all right. Episode six, Ashes, Ashes. Episode six. The record is a metaphor. The lock is not. Correct. Or ashes to ashes, whatever. Um, they uh, they punch. Finally, the right thing is done. A punch the crap out of Rand- Danny Rand and tie his ass up. <laughs> Stop trying to help. Finally. No, we have to fight. Come on, dude. No, this is a bad idea. We need to hide you. You are apparently the key to whatever they're playing. <laughs> And I need to go fight. No. <laughs> no. no. Just, yes. Why are you so bad at everything? Stop being bad at everything. 
no, I'm going to punch you guys. Oh, fine. <laughs> I'm going to punch you back. There's three of, There's us, three of us. All of us have legitimate superpowers, and you have a fist. <laughs> <laughs> that conveniently doesn't work at convenient times. Because you're so bad at your job. Um, she is messed up. I can't punch. Yeah. Sure. Um. So, yep. Uh, Murdoch. Uh, uh, uh Murdoch. Uh, freaking Daredevil and Jessica do actual work and figure out that that giant hole is behind Midland Circle. That is a payoff from Daredevil. Yay. Also, how yeah, fast was this good. damn building built? Super fast. Like apparently, Kingpin was. Had all the, the bankrolling on that one. He had all those people working around the clock. Apparently. Hand ninjas. <laughs> hand ninjas are surprisingly good house builders. <laughs> yes. They're very good at construction. Um, so, because, I mean, I the timeline is kind of skewed on this. Um, but Daredevil wasn't that long. I think they said, like, a year at most. Yeah, because yeah, because Electro was dead yeah. for over a year, for a little over a year. So they built that building in a little over a year. Yeah, I mean, well, they had like the, the kind of the shell of the building there at first. So they just finished building. It. Yeah, true. In a year. Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, Electra Tropy Trope starting to get back her memories. Yes, that's shocking that that happened. Yeah, and then Tropy Trope, uh, Alexandra is real bad at her job, and the hand is starting to call her out on her crap. <laughs> but no, the black sky, she'll be the savior. Yes. She'll bring balance to the force. Or something. By killing all of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, okay. No, I did legitimately not see that coming. I should have seen the lycra killing alexandra coming but yeah probably I didn't i did i saw that like, from oh there's that yeah i saw that one from a mile away after they started bringing up the point of hey we all can die there's no way that we can break oh alexandra's gonna die and it's probably gonna be like yep it's electra um dun, dun, dun. uh stick doing the lord's work <laughs> <laughs> kid i like you but you're really bad at this and you're exactly what they need so i'm just going to kill you to get you out of the way <laughs> it's kind of... i got a quote from she watched the whole thing with me she very much enjoyed enjoyed defenders so mm -hmm. right to that yeah not like iron fist or jessica jones but she liked uh she liked defender she loved luke cage yes and she was she tolerated daredevil she liked punisher but uh does Danny ever get tired of making that face? <laughs> I think that is just his face. You have you have grumpy frowny face. No, yeah, resting really enjoy resting douchebag face. Chat there. Yes. Resting <laughs> douchebag face. Um. Yeah. The the yeah. every time that Luke starts off just poking the bear. Yeah. The dragon, if you will. <laughs> and he's like, ah. so uh, punching the dragon. I bet that was. Pretty intense, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and Danny is too yeah, stupid to realize that he's being that he's being trolled. Yeah, he's like he has a little dad chat with him. Yeah, <laughs> Danny, you it's okay, buddy? <laughs> I know. I'm I'm sorry about all this. It's okay, buddy. Don't worry about it. Be You'll do better Danny. next time. You'll be okay. I'm not so bad. You'll be okay. I'm sorry you had to be punished for time, but. Just trying to teach you good, good lessons. <laughs> <laughs> well, I looked like just ruffle his hair, you know. Yeah, right. Also, what the oh, hell yeah. was in that freaking concoction that Stick used to knock out Luke? <laughs> I don't know. And not have it not affect a, him and barely affect only his Dan. Bulletproof. Yeah, no, it's true. I mean, we did kind of point that out with uh, that is something that carried over from Luke Cage's series. So there's that. He tried to poison him. Yeah. Um. I mean, like, other than Stick 
trying to murder everybody. This was your um, this was your Act Two Three Bridge episode. So like more exposition and just pushing towards the the climax. Um, if you will. Anything else? Let's see. Uh, we already talked about Matt's loft and how they explained how he can afford it. Yep. Uh, and Jessica Jones being nice to Matt. That was nice. That was nice. Aww. I like those two together. I don't, obviously, I don't want them to be together together, although I think they'll probably flirt around with that um, if this, yeah, if this continues on into the actual individual series. I think you'll at least see Matt and Jessica go out on a date, and I think that they will realize that is an incredibly bad idea. <laughs> I'd be okay with that. I, I kind of want to watch them just like try and awkwardly flirt at each other, and eventually, towards the end of it, Jessica just stands up like, you know, this, this no, just no. <laughs> but I like that they, you know, didn't forget that Jessica's a really great detective. Yes. So Matt's like, uh, so you've been looking into me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a detective. It's what I do. I kind of need to know who I'm working with here. Yeah. It's like, uh, somebody has to be good at their job here, Murdoch. <laughs> I want a case! <laughs> <laughs> well, I uh, saved this city. Uh, all right. Fish in the Jailhouse, episode seven. Uh, mini boss time. Oh, yeah. Um, well, first, we start with the stick flashback with weird forehead touching. Yeah. That was weird. Uh, finally telling Misty about everything. <laughs> finally. Um, so, yay, fine, uh, yeah, just perfect time to get, yeah, mm -mm, all right. Um, <laughs> and, of course, Electra shows up and takes Danny because she is not working. Why oh, not? She's not working, oh man. Melted cheese. We're going to bring you down into our thing, and oh, we're going to get you to do exactly what we want you to do because you're so dumb. So stupid. His elector's probably like, wow, that was easier <laughs> than I expected. <laughs> um, Didn't think that would work. Yeah. On the first try. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, yep, we learned that it is the dragon. Fuck that. Okay. I don't remember them explicitly stating, stating that it was... The Iron Fist Dragon? Did they? It's not. Okay. No, it's another dragon. So dragons are a thing, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. All right, cool. I want to see some dragons. Right? Not just shallow out the Undying's eyes and not just dragon bones. I want to see some dragons. Let's have some dragons. Yeah, just like seriously. I mean, Madam Gao even says like there was a time when you know these creatures roamed the earth or whatever, but apparently, uh, was it Shaolau the Undying? Something like that. The only one left. Yeah. Um, the one that you punch in the heart. Yes, the the one with the heart that regenerates every time an Iron Fist loses his wings or something. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I do kind of like how there's uh, actual consequences for everything going on. Like, yeah, you guys kind of murdered a dude. <laughs> we found him in your dojo. <laughs> In the basement of your dojo, there was a decapitated man. Uh, doesn't have a head. Don't know what happened to that. Yep. Uh, and then upstairs, in the other part of the dojo, there's, uh, there's a dead there's old dead man. man. Yeah, so, an old dead man. <laughs> what did you do? Yeah, so how about... <laughs> so, uh, then he's, his hand's been recently chopped off. So, uh, how about you tell me what's going on? <laughs> huh, guys? Um, how about we talk about this? You're right. Um... And then let's have all of the secondary char characters have chats. Yay! Just, just so you don't forget about them. Yeah, remember Foggy and Karen That's are still funny. there. <laughs> I do like Foggy how and Karen and Claire and Yay and uh, Colleen. Yay! All of them are relevant, dish yeah. except for Karen. Poor Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Karen. Everybody has a everybody has a part to play except for Karen. She's got to write the story, whatever. But she can't because that would reveal. Your devil's secret identity or something. Yeah, or something. Yay. Um, uh, I do... I, I, I go back to the facial expressions of 
the actors on this. Uh, Gal starts doing her Kamehameha things again, and both Luke and Jessica look like I'm getting too tired of this shit. <laughs> oh, man. It's like... Light it up. I, just, I, I have enough issues with people just trying to actively kill me without them throwing things around the room without actually throwing anything. Um... Also, was it this one? No, next one. Um, never mind. Um, yeah, this was obviously the building towards the finale. The party is separated, and yada yada. Yep, we have our first mini boss battle. Yep, at the at the hand. Uh, we took the subway. That was fun. Yeah, that was so fun. <laughs> No escape, so let's get on the subway. They'll never find us here. It was so good. <laughs> and just Jen stealing beer from the homeless man. Yes. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> and then she, I'm surprised Luke didn't take one too. Like to be completely honest. She's like, you know what? You're just you're right. Oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah, he he drinks. No, he doesn't drink. Does he? He's just a bartender. I think I'm he. I remember. If- did he drink? Hey, Daryl, did Luke Cage, since you know apparently all about Luke Cage's storyline as we've been proven, as you've proven to us, does Luke drink at all? <laughs> Tell me tomorrow. <laughs> I think they made a point of like him not drinking, that he just serves alcohol but doesn't drink it. I feel like that was that point was made, but maybe possibly. Carry. Um. Yep. So many bosses are defeated as many bosses are. Well, they were defeated. They just scattered. Yeah, for some reason, like... Yeah, I'll get you next time. Right? There was not <laughs> even, like, a good reason for them to leave. Like... It's like, oh, we're starting to lose. Let's run away. Yeah. And that's exactly it. Like, it was... It was hard. It was kind of hard to tell, though, because that, that fight scene was very chaotic and and chopped up and lots of cuts in that one. Yeah. Some weird stuff going on, which I know when one of the people fighting in your thing is an old lady, you have to... <laughs> right to make it look more intense than it actually is, <laughs> but uh, uh, Marukami uh, being wait, wait, Super happening? Ninja that was fun to watch. Um, Bakudo being Bakudo. <sighs> oh, Bakudo. Why? All right, <laughs> episode eight to the finale. The Defenders. We get fact that they never actually say that name but um gao is being miss exposition for some reason i'm confused as somebody to, has to be i'm i'm confused as to why she is telling him that at all but whatever um when it comes to things stupid things around happening around iron fist i've just given up trying at this point <laughs> um and so the so the whole plot is we have to break open the thing to steal the dragon bones, but taking out the dragon bones is going to cause the city to, to collapse. Yeah, but they'll okay. survive, so they don't care. Yeah, right. I know e- they don't care. Even vil- evil villains being evil that villains. That just that was the whole plot. That's yeah, the whole thing we've been building up to. Yep, dragon bones. They, they need to. F- they need to get the do, reserve if of you the last. The dragon bones that makes the city collapse. The uh, Lazarus Pit, uh, the Dragon Balls, if you will, um, <laughs> and uh, Dragon Balls. Yep, and then the city will be destroyed, but that's okay because we'll survive because we're the Hand and we have the Lazarus Pit now. Ha 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 ha! Hey, Bakuno got killed Mwahaha. by sub characters! Yay! <laughs> Heck yes! That was great. That was very cathartic, oh, and I loved watching Colleen. Misty. Or yeah, Colleen murdering him. Like and then Misty does a thing. Yay, but again. Yeah, mur- murdering him again. Just fucking die. <laughs> um Stay dead this time. Yeah, Pretty right. Sure he's gonna stay dead this time. I think so because he kind of exploded too. So I mean Oh yeah, that too. He it's hard to come back from both losing your head and getting exploded. I mean, I'm sure it's Stranger possible, but happened. yeah, true. Um, when you got a basement full of dragon bones, yep, anything's possible. Um, so 
All right, cool. We all went down the elevator. Jessica finally got to do her jumpy thing that she's apparently been wanting to do for a while now. Um, cool. <laughs> um, watching, uh, it was kind of touching watching Murdoch and Elektra get back together. That was kind of sweet. Kind of. I wasn't kind of annoyed by them. Yeah, okay, whatever. That that's is, that is always a thing with down. that is always a thing with Daredevil and Elektra is they may very rarely be on the same side, but they are always finding each other. Um so I'm okay with it. Uh it, it's no, I was fine with it. I it's true to character. Didn't particularly care for it. Um yeah, that's fair. So Gal Marakami's not dead. We that's easily assumed, right? Those two are going to come back. Uh, Gal is dead. I don't know about Murakami, but yeah, Gal, I'm sure will show up again. Yeah. Because if Daredevils can survive, then anybody down there can survive. Yep. I'm sure Elektra is also Oh, yeah. No, Elektra's been (laughs) confirmed for Daredevil Season 3, so (laughs) that one kind of got spoiled. Um, Whole building collapses on you, but hey, if it collapses on you and there's Dragon Bones. Yeah. What you gonna do? Um, Dragon Bones. Murakami. Dragon Bones. Probably still alive. Okay, so Dale. I love why I love Dale. The entire time he was so mad that Murakami never spoke English. He was so mad at the <laughs> dual at the dual uh, lingual conversations. Like dude's like seven hundred years old or some crap, and he lived in Asia most of his life. Like, let him speak Japanese. <laughs> He just refuses to speak any other language. Yeah. He clearly <laughs> understands all the languages. Yes. Because, <laughs> you know, what else are you going to do for 700 years? Right? Uh, cut up bears and learn languages. <laughs> Rassle bears and then re- whatever reason. Right. I'm sure you got your reasons. Taxidermy. Like he's, a, he's a great taxidermist. Nice. Marakami nice brand. Bear organ casserole. <laughs> bear organ casserole. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm, bear liver casserole. I think I spelled <laughs> that wrong, but whatever. Um, yeah, all right, cool. Um, I didn't, I mean, obviously, again, no, me being who I am, I'm like, yeah, there's a Daredevil season three, so what up? Oh, yep, that paid off real quick. Daredevil's alive, yay. So. Yeah, I was like, I was like, wow, they're spending like 20 minutes of everyone like mourning Daredevil and feeling sad that he's gone and really trying to sell hard the Daredevil's dead thing. Yeah, an iron fist Daredevil, being up on the not dead. freaking rooftop doing the Daredevil pose. Yeah. No, you are a bad man. You should not be up there doing that. <laughs> like, oh, come on, he's alive. I don't know how he's alive, but I'm sure he's alive. He's alive, he's alive. and there you'll find out in season three when they do the Born Again, uh, Frank Miller daredevil run um this is exactly how this is exactly how born again uh the man without fear arc uh, ended um pretty much exactly the same way electra black sky dying not dying coming back being born again the best thing is is we might get the awesome yellow daredevil suit (laughs) I, I, I'm with that. I am excited to see the Frank Miller orange or yellow Daredevil suit. And even if it's just kind of a quick glance, kind of like we did with the uh, Luke Cage thing. Also, why why is Iron Fist still not in that outfit? I don't understand. Um, <clears throat> but even if it's just a quick thing, like just or like I can tell yellow is not my color. Like it's cool. Go with that. <laughs> Um, yeah. Oh, yes. That is, that is the Avengers, you guys. The Defenders. Yeah, did I say Defenders? Did I say Avengers? You, you did say Avengers, but Whatever. it's okay. We all know. <laughs> it's the one with the Daredevil and the Luke Cage and the Jessica Jones and the Iron Fist. And the not uh. Doctor Strange for some reason. <laughs> Every Defenders team yeah, in the comic books has had... Uh, Doctor Strange on it though, like. 
Uh, yeah, that, no, it should have. That would have been cool, though. He punches open the doorway to the dragon bones, and Doctor Strange just shows up. He's like, "Whoa, yeah, chill out, dude." Feeling magic vibe from here. <laughs> like, what's going on here? Yeah, that would have been wow, awesome. That 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 seems you know right up Doctor Strange's alley. Exactly, you know, and you know, yet again, back, a right? giant explosion and earthquake in New York City. <laughs> Get and freaking Spider Man is nowhere. <laughs> Spider Man, no Doctor Strange. Especially with all the magic dragon stuff. Yes! Magic. Like, the second like, hmm. that, like... Uh, I just felt like a, a, a giant magic barrier break. Yeah! I'll probably go check that out. <laughs> and considering he's in the New York Sanctum Sanctorum, he's there! He is the master of the Sanctum Sanctorum! In New York City! <laughs> uh, I promised I wouldn't do that again. Here, here we are. Oh, man... Well, to be fair, you brought up Doctor Strange. Yeah, I brought up Doctor Strange because he's literally on every day uh, Defenders team. Like, I know. I want I want Doctor Strange riding a dragon. Oh my god! Yes. Get on that. Uh, it works because you know Benedict Cumberbatch was a dragon and Doctor Strange. Yes, yes, he was. Um, so I all right. The fun listing of things that we do. Um, Iron Fist is still the worst, right? That's, yep. That's easily yep. there. Um, yep. No, let's not do any more Iron Fist shows. Just yeah. stick him in the other people's shows. Yeah, let's not have him be the the lead character Luke anymore. Fist. Yes, Luke Fist. Yes, <laughs> just call it Luke Fist. <laughs> Luke Cage. You yeah, did just call it Luke Fist. <laughs> no more Luke Cage. No more Iron Fist. Just Luke Fist. <laughs> Luke Fist, season one. And it'll be great because you can call it kosher because Luke, uh, Luke, was it Luke Fish? <laughs> uh, fish. No. Yes. Um. So, all right. Um. I throw in a jar of Luke Fish free of charge. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Big Netflix blowout. Um. <laughs> so, all right. Um. Uh, I still, like, still kind of put Daredevil Season 1 down low for me. Um, Daredevil Season 1 and Luke Cage kind of dance back and forth there because I love Luke, uh, frick, Luke Cage. (laughs) I guess that just has to be the title. Yeah, absolutely. Now, yeah, we've decided that Luke Fist is the title. (laughs) I mean, that's now... It's come up like 10 times. Yes, and it's, it's never already, intentional, it's actually. Times. Like, neither Jazz or I are doing this intentionally <laughs> at all. Um, So, yeah, they kind of dance at the... Because I love Luke Cage as a character, and Michael Coulter as an actor, but the series itself, like, that season was just kind of eh. Um, eh. It was my favorite. All right, I mean, that's so fair. That's me. Um, that's a personal preference. I, I adored it. I mean, that's it, ha- it was a little uneven, and like the, the first half and the second half seemed like two different things. That's exactly my <laughs> issue with it. Fair, and, and the last half of it, where yeah, that, which is a fair argument, if if like I, I could separate them off, like the first half of Luke Cage is like so far up there, might be my favorite piece of these. But that second yeah, half was really abysmal. Then it went. <laughs> Uh, I did not like no. what comic book. I have rewatched the second half the of comic Luke. book world. Yeah, the problem and is I, the kind of love that about it. The problem is, is it was trying too hard to dance the the edge of the comic book world. They should have just embraced all of it and just went head full into it. And they didn't do that until the last episode. Um, come on, man, Diamond, Diamond back in that outfit. That, y- that, yes, that suit that was amazing. <laughs> Um, I don't know, like Daredevil, I, I think Daredevil season one might be down there because I still didn't like that that much until the end of the series, uh, until the end of the season, rather. Um, Daredevil season two, square in the middle. Uh, no, actually this, square, like this right after Daredevil season one because this, um, when all is said and done is kind of a tropey mess. A little bit, but it was... It was a lot of fun it, having everybody together. Yes, absolutely. And, and this is not me saying it that... It's a bit of a trippy mess. 
it, it, this is not me saying that I don't like it. It's just the fact that it is it is a tropey mess, and it felt very much so patched together, like they were obviously filming at way different times, and everybody kind of had different like. Everybody was either grumpy or happy to be on set those days that they filmed several months apart. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the fact that Iron Fist was the catalyst for everything was just, just kind of dragged the entire thing down for me. Um, then after that, um, Daredevil Season 2, which I, I liked a lot. Um, and then Jessica Jones... Still my favorite. It's a good list. You you don't have me you don't have me watch a series literally five times without me being able to say bottom like no no questions asked that is my favorite. It's hard for me to, it's hard for me to rank them though. I mean, Iron Fist is definitely at the bottom, and Luke Cage is definitely my favorite, even though it had its issues that we just discussed. Yes, but Defenders. Fenzer's probably right in the middle for me. Yeah. And season one and two of, of uh, Daredevil towards the top. And you know I, I appreciate Jessica Jones yes. a lot. And I liked it a lot, but it just it was just too hard to watch. I know. It just I, made I, me feel sad all the time. I, I know. <laughs> and and we've been through that. And it's like, yeah, I, I get that. I, I understand but that But, I completely. mean, it gives him, I give it major props for, you know, of course, David Tennant being amazing as a villain and – the acting and everything in that show just being just really incredibly well done. And apparently but he's back in Jessica get out. season two, I'm guessing, as a flashback. I hope as a flashback. Yeah, he's either a flashback or is like, you know, a, a voice in her head or something like Possibly. that. Possibly. I just, I, I hope they don't bring him back to life and just keep poking at that. No, just that, let him no, be dead. That doesn't need to happen. It, it, okay, if you're going to have her, okay, if you're going to have him be a flashback or a vo- like the voice in her head kind of like yeah, in the like, Arkham like games. Like her inner demon. Yeah, her inner demon or whatever talking to her. Exactly. That's cool. I'm okay that's with what, that. That's kind of how I see. I mean, I'm always I'm always up for more David Tennant, so. Yeah, just don't bring him back though. Don't don't bring yeah, don't bring him back to life. That doesn't that's no good. No. no it good. is not. All right. Um how long have we been going? I don't have that. Oh, about an hour. Making good time. About an hour. Um so I'm good. Um, take a look at this list here. Why are you not in bed? Thank you. Um, and do we have anything on there that I actually care about? Yeah, we do. All right, I'm gonna play a thing. I'm gonna do a thing. You gonna play a thing? I'm gonna play a thing. I'm gonna play this thing right here. On to the news. It is the weekly renewed and canceled update. Um, boop, boop, boop. Vikings picked up for season six by History Channel. So, yay! Sure. Uh, people of Earth, is. um, People of Earth, which is a great, um, I don't know what atypical is either. People of Earth, which is a great comedy. I don't know what Rect or the guest book are, but they've been all been renewed by TBS. Ride with Norman Reedus, sure. Coming at nobody's surprise, John Oliver got picked back up for three okay. seasons. And wow. You the, win an Emmy and you just get automatically renewed. Right? Three seasons. And The Daily Show with Trevor Noah renewed through 2022. 2022. Uh, that seems like it's so far away. It's only five years, but that seems mm-hmm. like that extra number there just makes it seem like it's forever. If I don't have <laughs> if I don't have the Daily Show infused into my head by that point, like via nanobots, I don't think I want to live. Um, Dance Moms, yay! I guess sure. Uh, my mother in law will be happy. Ghost Adventures has been picked up by se- for season fifteen by the Travel Channel. Wow! Uh, okay. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm happy. The Halloween Baking Championship <laughs> renewed for season seven. Because that's a fun one. Yeah. Uh, Steve Austin's Broken Skull Challenge renewed by season five. I didn't know that was a thing, much less five seasons in. <laughs> There's four seasons of it? Right? <laughs> um, okay, yeah, sure. Sure. Uh, str- str- I don't watch much CMT, so I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah me uh, either. 
So something tells me that neither one of us are into country music television. Um, <laughs> stri- strike renewed for Series 3 by BBC One. Faker Fortune for Series 7. Uh, I don't know if any of these are excite-worthy, Daryl. You still need to tell me things about these. Um, Christy and Phil's Love It or List It renewed for Season Series 3 by Channel 4. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Five gold rings oh, renewed. Okay, in your series. Right, for series two by ITV. Uh, save money, good food renewed for series two by ITV. Uh, Pestin on Sunday, Sunday renewed by, for series five by ITV. That's a British ass name right there. Pestin on Sunday. <laughs> Pestin on Sunday. And inside the ambulance. On ITV. Renewed for series four, two, three, and four by W. I don't know what that is. W. W. Just W. Okay. Uh, w. Canceled shows. W. Sorry, Stitchers. Whatever you are. Canceled by Freeform. Uh, All that glitters. Canceled by Bravo. Sure. And the trip. Canceled by Sky Atlantic. Uh, pitch battle. Canceled by BBC One. And play to the whistle. Canceled by ITV. Whistle? Whistle. Um, sorry to see all those shows go, whatever they are. Yep. I'm sure you are television shows. All uh, right. Uh, if you want to get in touch with us, tell us how wrong we are about the dojo, contact us. G- Geekio show at gmail.com. I haven't done that forever. You can reach us at the dojo. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, social media in general is all slash Geekio show. Um, a totally active Instagram and Snapchat are also there. Uh, if you want me to make those start active, start <laughs> following them, and I will start putting stuff out on them. Uh, I was actually thinking about doing a. Um, I was actually thinking about doing a Snapchat story for the Geekio show Snapchat, doing kind of a single mic kind of thing on Snapchat with that. Just something I've been tossing around. Nothing I've be fun. made plans on yet, but just uh, just kind of get the uh, get the word out there and use the Snapchat in general. Because I don't use it personally, that's for sure. The kids are into these days, right? Yes. I can make myself sound like a squeaky little mouse thing and have weird faces while I'm making light of today's news stories or something. I don't know. Um, website with... Uh, Seems you, legit. You can give us a call, leave us a voicemail, 727-489-4335. That is 727-489-GEEK. You can, our website, which has all of our show notes and more, geek-io.net slash spoiler show. Our Twitch channel, which is where we're normally recording live, but today was dumb for some reason. Twitch.tv slash geek.io show. Now I guarantee when I go on tomorrow to do my gaming stream, it'll work no problem. But hey, uh, you can support us. By going over to patreon.com slash geek.io. Uh, you can also go over to geek-io.net slash Amazon. In the United States, United Kingdom, and Canada, a uh, little bit uh, comes back our way. doesn't cost you any extra. It's true. Help keep the lights on. Indeed. It is. Would you like to hear them? I would. They are Electra Nacho Cheese, Sarcastic Girl Batman, the personal MacGuffin. Dario with superpowers. We're getting a robot arm. She's got the super sneak. Luke Fist, which we know is already the winner. Resting D bag face. Dim Dragon Balls. Bear Organ Casserole. And woohoo! Big Netflix blowout. <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, we'll be back here next week when we're going to be talking. Uh, next week? Maybe next week. Uh, maybe off a week. Um, we're going to be talking The Tick. Um, and some other things that I can't remember right now, but definitely the tick because I am super stoked uh, to watch the yeah. tick. I think we're gonna be to um just a couple episodes of it, not the entire thing, because that would be insanity, and I can't do that again. Uh, even I was pressing, and I literally watched all of that <laughs> while hurricane crap was going on. So we're like bunkered down for the hurricane. I'm like, might as well go ahead and just watch all of the defenders because there's literally nothing else to do. Because if we go outside, we'll probably die. <laughs> um, so at least you still got the defenders. Exactly, and it was it was a it was a fair watch 
for uh, hurricane watching. I mean, we there could have been worse things, like the countless things, like, hey, everybody's going to die who stayed for Hurricane Irma. Uh, also, hashtag F Irma, which is my favorite hashtag on Twitter right now, and that's not a hashtag that I made up. Like, it's actually legit a hashtag. <laughs> uh, all we have listed for the next show is The Tick, episode one, two, and three. So maybe we will figure out. Maybe one, two, three, four. Maybe because we already watched one, but I'm gonna rewatch it again because Rachel is super excited to watch the tick. So I'm probably gonna end up watching it again. Um, then coming on coming up in October, uh, which is right around the corner, you guys. Uh, it's kind of scary thinking that we are in October already. As I look at the empty pumpkin spice latte next to my desk, um, we're gonna try out the gifted, which is the X Men. Uh, New Mutant show on Fox uh, and also <laughs> you ready for some Inhumans? I don't think I am. Man, I've heard nothing good about Inhumans. Yeah, we might just watch the fr- the uh, yeah, on that show. We might just watch the, the premiere, the pilot of the two. The, to see if it's see if it's as bad as everyone says it is. Yeah, and then just kind of dance away I from it. It is. I bet it is. Uh, and then later in the month of October, we got Mr. Robot coming back to us, you guys. I am so stoked for that one. Oh, my gosh. Um, I'm excited. Yeah, and then, yeah, uh, I mean, through the rest of the time, we only have three episodes. We're doing our um, our pilot season viewing of The Gifted, so episodes one, two, and three, uh, and see how it goes from there. Uh, we're going to watch all of The Tick because it's The Tick, and that's fantastic. And we might not watch in humans, but we're definitely watching all of Mr. Robot. We're going to watch it and we're going to freak out about it. And we're going to freaking love it. That takes us through December, by the way. Again, Ooh. it's kind of weird thinking that we're, that I'm looking at a schedule that has us out in December and it's only like eight weeks from now. I am not prepared. All right, you guys, we will see yeah. you right back here next time with the tick and maybe something else. Not sure yet. We'll talk to you next time. Spoon. Bye. Bye. This has been a Geekio Media Network production. Copyright 2017. playing with the thumbnail never.